So in my last video, I actually got a comment asking if I can do a video where I make a song from scratch. And it's something that I haven't done yet, but I've always kind of thought about doing it. But the only annoying thing that happened, it was like when I was recording it, I was like talking over it. But the file for me talking got corrupted and I, I, I don't even know how. But um, what I decided to do is I'll just do a voiceover over everything I do and sort of just like explain what I did, which I guess is better than nothing. Uh, what I sometimes like to do when I start a song or like start a track is I grab like an already existing song and then what I did was I chucked this into Quanta which is a granular synthesizer I've used it so many times um, and I like just scrolled through the sample until I found some cool parts that I liked. <laughs> Then after I found some little bits and like some little melodic elements and stuff, I just, I made a new track and I just started recording. So now that I got everything recorded, um, like I said, I just recorded some little bits. I arranged them into like a little sequence, so it's like a little progression sort of thing. Then I added this like super simple drum beat over top. So I think that's actually a pretty good starting point. Um, now I wanted to make some like little melodic fills and stuff and like little glitches. So what I did is I grabbed some of the samples and stuff and I stretched them out in warp mode and I basically have it in texture mode so that it cuts everything up into like little grains. And I did the same thing with the snare hit, warped it and selected texture mode and made a little fill. Then after all this I sidechained the main uh, melodic element to the kick drum.
So that's sort of like the main little bit done. Uh, it's kind of like the, the middle section of it, but I wanted to make an intro, like a little intro segment. So I did a similar thing this time for the intro. I used the main sample again and chopped it up, but I put in an octave higher and I started recording it and it ended up something like this. I added these little delays to the kick drum so that when it would like kick it would do like a, a triplet sound sort of thing. And then after I sort of rearranged a little bit of the song, I then made like a little gate that could sidechain like the rhythm to the main element. So to do this, I made another MIDI track with an instrument and then I attached a kickstart plugin to the main bit and then I routed this to the sidechain and then I could draw a rhythm in the MIDI track that the main bit would play. And that honestly sounds like really confusing, but I've actually made a few videos on how to do this and it's actually a really cool technique. And so you can check those out in this little sound design tricks video. Thank you. 
I also wanted to make another little snare fill. So I added a Valhalla Supermassive to the snare track and then I automated the mix to get some like weird effects. I also think I automated some of the delay as well. 